Hi, welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. My name is Jack, and here's my sister, Emma. And today I'm going to make your old bites that will be totally good. As Emma said, today we're making granola bites, and I used to make these for myself all the time in college, so I'm so excited to be making them in my kitchen today with my kids. So to start, they each have a big mixing bowl filled with two cups of granola. So I just gave them a very basic flavor. It has some almonds in it, maybe a little coconut and honey, very simple. You could also start with any flavor of granola that you want. My assistants are gonna add their mix-ins into their granola, so they each have their own special flavor. So Emma, what's in your dish? Dried cherries and chocolate chips. Good, you wanna show everybody? Hold it up. Yes, delicious. So she has about um, a tablespoon of each, dried cherries and mini chocolate chips. And Jack, what's in your dish? Coconut flakes and chia seeds. Yes, he has about a quarter cup of coconut flakes. I just used unsweetened, because that's what I had on hand, and about a tablespoon of chia seeds, which adds some extra fiber into our granola balls. So, you guys can dump your mix-ins right into your bowl. Perfect. Okay, and I'll give you each a little spatula, and stir it up. I wanted to mention also that dried cherries are about twice the size of a raisin, so I just took a pair of kitchen scissors and chopped them up into little bites, so there's a little bit in every granola bite that we make. So next, we have to add the glue into our granola bites. So that's gonna start with some creamy peanut butter, and you could use crunchy too. You like crunchy peanut butter, right, Jack? Mm -hmm. So you can use either one that you want. I want that one. You want this one? Yeah. Okay, so a little trick. We're using a quarter cup of peanut butter for each of their bowls. And what I like to do is take my baking spray, shake it up a little bit, and if you spray the inside, did I get you? <laughs> if you spray the inside of your measuring cup, the peanut butter is going to come out really easily. It should just slide right out into your mixing bowl. So let's fill this up first for Emma, ladies first, and then for Jack, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. Emma's a lefty, so she's got her spatula in her left hand, her peanut butter in her right, and you're going to use your spatula to just scrape it into the bowl. Yep, that's right. Now can I have a turn? Scrape it all. Oh. Mike, can you give me a turn too? Yep, you'll be next. Good okay. okay, so now Jack has his quarter cup and you can take yours. Why don't you, let's switch hands here, since you're a righty. So hold that in this hand and then just okay. scoop it out into your bowl. There you go. Yep, keep going. Wait, a little bit more. this again. Are you, are you going to stir the peanut butter and mix it in? Yeah, we'll stir it up in just a second. So both of my chefs have added their peanut butter, and next up we're gonna add honey, which also acts as a glue to bind the granola bites together. So I did the same trick with my tablespoon measuring spoon. I put a little cooking spray in there, and would you like to hold that for me, please? Hold it over your bowl, and we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey. So there's one, dump it in. Beautiful, and two. There we go, it'll be nice and sweet no, and it'll all stick together. Turn. Your turn, okay, over your bowl. Ready? One tablespoon of honey and two tablespoons of honey. There you go, pour that in. Let it all go in. So the peanut butter and honey have been added into our granola and now they're gonna mix it up. So go for it, guys. Hold the bowl with your other hand. Good, just be gentle so the granola doesn't spill out over the edge. I tried to give them really large mixing bowls so it wouldn't be too messy, we will see. <laughs> so the last ingredient I'm gonna add into each of their bowls is about a tablespoon of milk. We'll start there and then see if we need to add any more. But this liquid will just help to kind of bring the mixture together and then we're gonna form it into little balls and pop them in the fridge. So let's start with a little splash of milk for you, Jack. Do, do, do. There you go. And a little bit for you, Emma. Okay, now keep stirring. 
So everything's mixed together. I gave them a little hand at the end just to make sure that every bit of granola was covered in the peanut butter and the honey and the milk. Should we roll them into balls? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna use is a little cookie scoop. Can I help you? Let me demonstrate and then I'll give you each a turn with the cookie scoop and see how it goes, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with Emma's mix, which is our chocolate cherry with the mini chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna form, really compact it into the cookie scoop and then we'll put it on our parchment lined ah. baking sheet. Okay, so it starts out a little bit loose, but when we put them into the refrigerator, they'll set up and hold together. We let our granola bites set up in the fridge for a good hour, and now they've really solidified, so they'll hold together a little bit better. So do you guys wanna pick one out and test it? We've got our chocolate cherry here, and then our coconut chia are back here. And this is coconut chia. Mm-hmm. Take a little bite. Mm. Is that good, Ben? What do you think, Jack? Do you like it? Here, can I eat your little crumb? Let's see here. Mmm. Oh, this is the perfect after-school snack. A little sweet, a little crunchy. And you can make this to your family's taste. So if you want to use some homemade granola, gluten-free granola, if you want to use all-natural peanut butter, whatever you like to have, they're gonna turn out delicious. I think the chocolate cherry is my favorite. Thank you for joining us in our kitchen, and we'll see you again soon for another family recipe. Hi, welcome to Ann's family recipe. Hi, welcome to Ann's family recipe. My name is Ann. Uh, Jack. <laughs> for the full recipe, check the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.